I have to see the mayor. He's in a council meeting. He can't be disturbed. I demand that you let me through. I've ridden all night, 80 miles. That's orders. Get out of my way. I you must you what the men say now. Stop. Out of my way. I said stop. I said stop. I must see the mayor. But the mayor's in danger at council meeting. Let go of me. You'll be sorry if you don't. I'm a relative of the mayor. So am I. So is the whole council. Where's the council room? I won't talk. Cousin Biro! Cousin Biro! Don't make Good. so much noise. They're in a the meeting. Keep quiet. What is this commotion? Cousin Grego. Cousin Biro. Oh. This is my cousin, the mayor of Clemens. I'm sorry, Uncle. It's Manny. Try to... Cousin Biro, terrible things have happened. Come in here. No. Cousin Gregor! What happened? Oh, I've been riding all night. It's a disaster. I'm ruined. Come and sit down. Fetch brandy and water. No water. No water. Now, what is it? What is it? Come on, man. Speak up. What's happened? Clap of thunder, he appeared among us. The postmaster was hanged. The chief of police was let off with 200 lashes. I, I was sentenced to the firing squad. Luckily, my own firm made the rifles and they blew up. I escaped. I need a fresh horse. I must be off at once. A fresh horse for our cousin. Sit down. Sit down. But I must go. Even now, he may be here in your midst. Oh. Speak up, man. Who? The Inspector General. Yes. He has full power from the Emperor himself. And wherever he finds bribery and corruption, there the gallows and the firing squad go to work. More. What does he look like, this Inspector General? Who knows? A man of mystery. Five days he was in our midst and no one even suspected. He went everywhere, saw everything, and uncovered such corruption that even I was shocked. Don't get, don't get excited. Don't get excited. How I envy you to sit here in your clean town and fear no one. The horse is ready, Uncle Biro. I must be off. Poor oh, Gregor. Where will you go? Away, far away, anywhere. Africa, China. Goodbye, Cousin Biro. Farewell, Uncle. Goodbye. Goodbye, Cousin. You need any money? You're very kind, Cousin Biro. I have a few crowns. Thank you. Farewell. I, uh, I would like to take this opportunity to tender my resignation. Effective... Sit down! What would you do? Go back to rolling pills in that stinkhole of a chemist shop, you, you poisoner? Well, I promised my wife... I have a poison. I'll talk to my sister about something. Stay where you are! Nothing's to be gained by rushing around blindly. We must proceed according to system. You, Laswell, clean up the square. See that all the public buildings are spotless. Put patients in all the hospital beds. Yes, Uncle Biro. Utility. Get the children back into school. Start teaching them something, anything. Yes, brother-in-law. You two deliver the mail, all of it, whether you read it or not. I, I never read anything. Yes, you did, don't you remember? Quiet! Goodbye, Uncle Biro. Come back. Come back here. I want all roads police day and night. I yes. want a report of everyone who's entered this town in the past 24 hours. Uh, Check the tavern. Yeah. Investigate all strangers. Well, and I... bring your reports to me personally, you understand? Yes, but first I would like to go to First you'll obey orders. Now get out of here. Thank you, cousin. City gates and patrol all roads to Broadney at once. Uncle, what happened? At once! Come with me! Willie, what goes with Uncle General? Shut up! I say, come with me! Anything wrong? Be quiet! Investigate here. You men go on to the next town. Countrymen approach. Step up, step up. Come close to me for the greatest experience of your life. You will tell your children and grandchildren about it. And first, you will be entertained by the greatest musician in the country, direct from the court of the emperor. 
Yacht Rose Elixir, the best that can be had. Hey. Yacht Rose Elixir, it's good for what is bad. Hey. Try this Elixir, it's sure to quench your thirst. Hey. Try this Elixir, it's best for what is worse. Hey. And now, good people, step close to my rostrum that you may see all with your own eyes. I, Yakov Guri, physician to princes and crowned heads, have come among you to exhibit absolutely free of charge the wonder of the world unparalleled since the dawn of time. Are you ready, my friends? The Egyptian marvel, the treasure of the pharaohs. Behold! Step right up, people. Examine. Observe. You there. Who are you? Let me see your peddler's card. Here, Captain. Yakov Guri, an honest professional man from previous. I have testimonials from the Emperor himself. I will... Never mind. You. What about your friend there? Who, he? Oh. <laughs> Captain, don't ride away. Hey, come back, come back. This exhibit welcomes any investigation. Look, my friends. It lives. It breathes. It laughs. It cries. It thinks. Watch his left ear. How much is two and two? Correct! This is not just an old head. This is Prince Ahmed of ancient Egypt, beheaded by the cruel pharaoh because of his forbidden love for the crown princess. And now, my friends, you ask yourself, how did this miracle survive for over 2,000 years? An excellent question. Only this, Yakov's golden elixir. Look how his eyes plead with me to give him a dose of my elixir. He fairly yearns for his rich, smooth goodness. Here, here, Prince. I'm a simple man, my friends. I do not make extravagant claims for my medicine. If a person is already dead, for instance, there's only a slim chance that my medicine will do him any good. But if only a spark of life remains, Yakov's golden elixir will fan it into a roaring fire of health. How can Yakov treat those poor people like Why, that? Why, what's the matter? Well, this is the furniture polish he sold yesterday. Come on, hurry up. He is almost through. Yeah, all right, here we go. No, no, you don't wear this. This to the testimonials from my grateful customers. Yes, even the great Napoleon himself. Written on the battlefield of Austerlitz. He gives the elixir full credit for the victory. For years I have suffered terrible digestive distress. However, since taking Yakov's miraculous elixir, I no longer find it necessary to continually hold my hand on my stomach. Kindest personal regards, Napoleon. Yacht Rolf's elixir, drink it till you burst. Hey. Yacht Rolf's elixir, it's best for what it's worth. Hey. But why do I tell you these things, my friends, when there is someone here, a sufferer on whom I've looked with compassion when he lay at death's door, unable to move a muscle, paralyzed. <laughs> Are you aware that you're losing your hair? Do you need money? Have you been on a diet? Are you bothered by quiet? Eh? Quiet. Eh? Quiet! Nice dance for that fella. <laughs> Do you get colds, a prickly heat, a burning brow, and freezing feet, a leaping pulse, and jumping toes, a falling arch, a running nose, and heat? Cups. Do you get hit? Cups. A touch of laryngitis, paryngitis, asthma, or appendicitis. Hit. Yeah, you do. Do you? Cups. Or rabies. Hit. Do. Cups. Or measles. Have you had a diagnosis of cirrhosis, biosmosis, with a mononucleosis, plus sclerosis, plus cytosis, plus paraclosis, of psychosis? Have you ever been short of breath? Well. No matter how bad your condition, I have news that will tickle your ears. <laughs> I was dead. Dead? Well, pretty sick. Till I saw a famous physician who hadn't seen a patient in years. He was nearsighted. 
He said, hello, young man, you are possibly the plumber. I'm a patient, Dr. Hummer. Dr. Hummer said, <laughs> Dr. Hummer said, hmm, better see Dr. Singer. Dr. Singer said, oh. A wiggle where the noses and the waggle where the knees is. Tell me something, young man. You have had some diseases? Have I had? <laughs> when I was one, I had a. When I was two, I had a. When I was three, I had. By the time I was four. When I was six, I had a. At seven, I developed. When I was eight, I got a <coughs> by the time I was nine. <coughs> Doctor, why am I always so tired? <coughs> Doctor Singer said, ah, hmm, ah, hmm, and gave me the following prescription. Rix, z, gel, knib, it's, at Zelmin Helsichner twice a day. Since that day I haven't been sick, sir. That medicine did the trick, sir. And what was it? Don't ask me. I'll tell you. Yakov's behold a hand. It will give you new zest, new life, new enthusiasm. What is it, mother? Oh, Phineas, my husband is sick. If he had your medicine, maybe he would get well. Yeah, well, go away, mother, please. One, one bottle right here. Will you take one here? No, no, please. Take a bottle. Tell him to her. Work the other side. Well, I did very well. I saw Oh! Here you are, Mother. Bless you. Whatever's wrong with your husband, he's now cured. All right, ladies and gentlemen, here it is. The most wonderful, the most miraculous all cure. Golden elixir. Mother, Mother, here are your pennies. Give me back the medicine. Mother, the medicine is no good. What's for my husband? He needs it. He's sick. I know. This will finish him off. Here, take the pennies and buy milk. It'll do much more good than the medicine. The medicine is no good. Don't you remember me? I'm the fellow who had all the diseases and everything, but there's nothing wrong with me. This medicine is a fake. Yes, I'm a fake. Yakov's a fake. This is no good. I tell you, Mother, we're cheating all the people, don't you see? They wash windows with it, furniture polish. All the people back... Oh. Pardon me. All the people back there that... We can, we, can we can have supper now. We put it near the flame. And it, it, it's my fish, Yakov. It's I, mine now. I, I know, but I caught it. I, I took it. When you've learned a little more about taking and less about giving, you can't come back. Get out. 
Oh, look, Yakov, I'm sorry about that poor old woman. She only had twelve pennies. No, crow blinks at him and he turns to pot cheese. Couldn't help it. In this life, it's dog eat dog. Right. Bite and scratch. That's right, Yakov. Grab everything for yourself and hold on like a leech. But she you can't even pick a pocket. And her husband. Yes, I can so too do it. I'm a good thief, Yakov. Even better than you. See? That's my watch. Uh huh? Where did you get it? Oh, in the water. Please, Yakov, don't send me away. I'll do anything you want. I'll be as hard as nails. My heart will turn to stone. Please, Yakov, I'll steal my own mother's teeth. I'll believe it when I see it. Get out. What? Get out! Oh, all right. I'll go. Right after supper. You because get out of here! Well, it's my fish! I you took you and I'm fish. throwing you out! Why, you illiterate numbskull, you! I'm, I'm not illiterate. You're not, eh? All right. Read that. Come on, read it. R read it? Read it. R read it. Read it. <coughs> read, yes, uh, read it. Uh, 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 but who can read on an empty stomach? I didn't... Read it and I'll give you supper. Oh, you, you will? Oh, well, that's different. It says, uh, uh, oh, oh, this is very interesting. Uh, your, your handwriting shows definite character. It shows your generous, wouldn't refuse food to a hungry man. Read it. Uh, read it. Uh, it says, uh, dear sir, it's as to whom it may concern. That's right. I was testing you. You were testing me. Read it. To whom it may concern. Best personal regards, Napoleon. See? There you are. I'd, uh, well, maybe I can't read or write, but I'm not illiterate. You're nothing. Just a millstone. Look at Get out of here. A little... Get out! <laughs> Bye, Jacob. Bye. What a silly way to start a letter. <laughs> Sandwiches. Go get it. What finish is that? Oh, just the bottom of the barrel. What do you want? Oh, I, uh, I thought perhaps you men wouldn't mind sharing a little of the food with us. On your way, I... tramp. We hardly got enough for ourselves. Come on, get on your way. Well, you just gave a little piece to the dog. If the I dog didn't... does something for his food. I want to tell you, go on, go away. Step. Wait a minute. Arnold, come here. Roll over. Oh. Can you do that? It's not good, we... Can you do that? I have a little piece Go of... Go away. Can you do that? Uh, roll over? Let's see you do it. Come on. <laughs> Hurry up. 
Oh, it lie down, lie down. <laughs> Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I bet he can run faster than you can. Thanks, Otto. You won it fair and square. Bargains about. off the floors. We put sheets on the bed and we got the goats out of surgery. And I put charts on the foot of each patient's bed indicating the nature of their illness. Good. Now at least they'll know what they die from. Kovach. Well, I've patrolled all the roads leading to and from Brodney. Yes. So that unless the Inspector General disguises himself as a bird and decides to fly into the city, <laughs> he'll never get past me. Good. And the jail? Well, I've had new locks fitted to all the cells, burnt the rubbish. I even have a prisoner. Good. Who is he? Oh, I don't know, just a tramp. I apprehended him in the city square. He was trying to make off with a horse and wagon. The one we were loading was silver. My silver? My valuables? Well, yes, but I got him before he... Who is he? Where did he come from? Oh, I don't know. I, I never saw him before. He's just a common tramp, uh, dressed in rags. Search him, question him. Well, it was so near lunchtime, and he was, he was just a common tramp. The Inspector General, oh, that's ridiculous. <laughs> Why not a tramp? In France, Boogie first appeared as a traveling shoemaker. In Clemente, he was disguised as a peddler. And here, why not a tramp? A horse and wagon. My horse and wagon. The wagon I loaded with valuables to ship out of town. Yes, sir. Of course, the evidence he needed. Now he knows. I would like to take this opportunity to tender my resignation. My chair of office! My fault! Who's here?
want some water? Water? I want some food. Oh, I'm sorry. The prisoners are fed promptly at 3 o'clock. Well, I guess I can hold out till then. Wednesday and Saturday. Wednesday? But today is Thursday. What is time? I haven't eaten two days. What kind of a jail is this where they won't even give a man a crust of bread? All I want is a little piece of food. This is a nice jail. Really, it is. We've had some wonderful hangings here. Oh, that's very nice. What's wonderful about a hanging? Oh, you should see the ceremony and the last meal. The last meal? Yes. Can you, can you order anything you like? Anything. The town of Brodney may have its faults, but they certainly do it right when they hang a man. They do? Mm. The mayor and all the commissioners come dressed in their finest clothes, oh. and the town band assembles at the door of the jail. Oh. Such beautiful music. Yes. And they play the prisoner right up to the gallows. Oh. Mm. I'll never forget one hanging we had a few years ago. Oh, what's it, that? It was what? What's that music? It might... What were you arrested for? Nothing. I'm innocent. The that, boss followed me and all that. The right. commissioners and everybody. And they brought the band. Is it the band? So who, who are they going to hang? The, um, the... There's only one prisoner here. Oh. Well, if he doesn't finish his last meal, he... Help! No, no. Help! Easy, easy. Help! 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 You let me out of here. You let me out of the cell, do you hear? Or I'll go right to the emperor. Help! What a fine, crooked village this must be. Thieves, you must have you here. Must help, let, help, let me out. Help, help, help. Let, let thieves, Come you must have here. Why did he put me in this jail? Let, help. Open that gate. Open the gate. No trial, no justice. I, I, I will report to the emperor. I, I, there's no crooked village this is. I, 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 don't you anybody come near me. Don't you come near me. If any of you come near me, you can go back and demand to be released. There's others time in the jail. Uh, may I please explain? If, if you've been put to any, any inconvenience, I assure you, my, my colleagues and myself are, are extremely distressed. Ours is a small community, not rich or powerful, but a... But citizens or travelers, be they humble or exalted to the highest degree of nobility, be they vagrants or inspector generals appointed by the emperor, in our village they find courtesy, honor, and strict adherence to the principles of justice. Command us, your excellency, and we will obey. Believe me, your highness, I understand and value your desire to remain incognito. Permit me to compliment you on your amazing disguise. It, it, it's most convincing. In a corrupt city with dishonest officials, such a strategy would be most effective. But here, in our fair village of Broadney, we beg you to accept our hospitality. Why don't we discuss the entire situation at dinner? Now, here, uh, Bernice, go to my house. Tell my wife we have an honored guest. Tell her I want a feast, a banquet. Your Excellency, how can we talk these sordid surroundings? At my home, dinner would be just about ready. A roast, a turkey, several kinds of game, a rack of lamb, a magnificent pot roast. And you probably will want a change of clothes. Uh, quick, some suitable clothing for His Excellency. Where will I get the clothing? Uh, your uniform. Take it off. Now? Now! Your Excellency. Yes, uh, yeah, yes. Our Chief of Police regrets his mistake. He will be delighted to have you wear his uniform until your luggage arrives. Kovacs will be honored. Burby's tall, isn't he? I know he is. Is he going to stay long? I hope not. Oh, what's taking you so long, hurry? But I can't get it. It's too tight. Too tight, indeed. I wonder if the Inspector General will think it's too tight. Tell me, did you notice the color of his eyes? Yes. Are they blue? Are they yes. brown? Yes. Are they black? I... Yes. Well, what are you staring at, stupid? Get busy, set the table. And you too. Listen, when you serve, see that your hands are clean. And you, Bella, you remove the dishes when I ring. And you, Ladislas, you bring on the fresh course and move quickly and see that you don't spill anything on our guests. Did you hear me? What did I say? I take it, Bella puts. When? When you ring the bell. All right. And Lisa, you help serve the wine and do anything else you can to make yourself useful. Come, Burgess. Put on a clean apron. Did he say anything about Paris or Budapest or Vienna? That dress was too tight. So tight it made her eyes pop out. This is 
my humble home, Your Excellency. It isn't large, but I've only a small pittance of a salary. Please come in. Maria, my jewel. Maria. Maria. And this is my wife, Maria, His Excellency, the Inspector General. Oh, great privilege, Your Excellency. May your visit here be pleasurable. Welcome, Your Excellency. Your hat, Your Excellency, and your sword. Oh, Bella. Your Excellency. Oh, my wife, Catherine. Your Excellency. It's a pleasure. It's a pleasure. We must get rid of him. I'll give him plenty of brandy. Anything to stop the inspection. You get the glasses. A toast, Your Excellency. Uh, something to prepare your palate. A toast to His Excellency. I'll see about the dinner. Dinner? Oh, yes, sir. Right, this way. Right, this way. Here. Yes, sir. Come on, will you have one, please? Well, you'll find it very fine, Your Excellency. Thanks. A toast to His Excellency. Long live His Excellency. Laszlo, quickly. Come on, quickly. Come on, Peter. The brandy. Quickly. Come on, please, please. Quickly. More brandy, Bela. Ah, Your Excellency, how charming it is for us to have... May I present Mrs. Burbish, Your Excellency. She's the wife of our tax collector and, and chemist. Uh, here we are, Your Excellency. A little more wine. And a toast to His Majesty, the Emperor. Long live the Emperor! Uh, this is this and his twin brother, Gizik. They're in charge of our postal department. Uh, the Inspector General is Ick. I'm not Isik, he's Gizik. Oh, it's very easy to tell by the strawberry mark. No, 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 no. some other time. Uh, one more repetitive just before dinner. Dinner is served. Ah, dinner, dinner is served, Your Excellency. One last treat, Your Excellency. A toast. Here's to the righteous. To the righteous. Here's to the evildoer. Your uniform is beautiful. My husband has one just like oh, it. I do hope you're not disappointed in the simple fare we serve here. Ladies and gentlemen, I, I would like to propose a toast to the fairest city in all the land, to the home of courage, integrity, and honesty, to Brodney. To Brodney! I'm out I don't suppose Your Excellency would have found it comparable to the sumptuous table they set at the Emperor's Palace. Well, of course, I do wish Piero had given me a little more time. You know, this. Maria! His Excellency's glass is empty. Oh, leave that wine for His Excellency. Please, quickly, quickly. Yes, ma'am. After we've eaten, uh, perhaps you'll tell me about your life in Vienna. <laughs> and, uh... Oh, oh, yeah. oh, I'm so sorry, Your Excellency. Oh, oh, I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to. Well, it was just I'm an accident. So... Why, you clumsy drudge! Oh, uh, uh, it was nothing, just merely an accident. I, I always spill wine all oh. over my suit. It, oh. it, it was she didn't Durham. mean it. It was just I used to use water. It was very good for the wool. Oh. It's just that she didn't mean oh, it. It was just an accident. It's nothing at all. <clears throat> She really didn't. That is luck. Bring on the meat course for his excellency. Bela, the meat course. Bring the meat course for his excellency. Quickly, oh, quick. Pardon me. <laughs> Tell me, is it true about the women in Paris? You know, I heard that. <laughs> Very nice. 
Will you pass that down? Yes. Will you please pass this? This book, very much. Now we have some. And then, very nice, Jane. And then, yes, we pass this. the hope that you've spent a comfortable night. Uh, what, what time is it? <clears throat> it's just past nine, but you've ample time for a substantial breakfast before you start your tour of inspections. Uh, inspection? Yes, our program is 11 a.m., reception at the town hall, inspection of the Guard of Honor and a band concert, and at 11.30, a parade to the jail, at 12.15, public hanging, uh, followed, uh, by, hanging? Uh, followed by lunch. This, uh, this hanging... And isn't anyone I know, is it? Oh, it's just some rascal out alert police arrested. The rogue was impersonating a police officer. Impersonating a... Um, yes, he uh, made off with a sack of apples from a local fruit merchant. Yes, impersonating an officer. Uh, hanging is much too good for him. Of course. Yes. Now, I realize Your Excellency wants to continue his journey as soon as possible. Yes, I must I must go immediately. I have uh, no, oh. no receptions, no... Why, Your Excellency, I'm broken-hearted. I was looking forward to inspecting our little village. Yes, uh, it's a wonderful village. Finest village I've ever seen. Yes, but I... be kind enough to say so in your official report? Yes, yes, of course, but I must get dressed. Yes, uh, yes, of course. I, I'll uh, assemble the villagers uh, and the band to speed His Excellency uh, on his way. Where am I? Clothes. Yes, clothes. Kovach! The uniform. Well, it's badly stained. I was having it cleaned. Uh, well, then, a fresh uniform for His Excellency. Yes, but where will I get one for His Excellency? Well, yours will do. Well, but this is brand new. This wouldn't fit His Excellency. Uh, can... Gizzy, Gizzy, take care of this. Yes, yes, yes sir. Yes, 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 sir
even in the short time you've been here, you've captured the hearts of our people. What a pity you have to leave. Well, well I, I thought I might be coming back again soon. No, I, no, 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 don't change your plans on our account. Quick, His Excellency's horse. Uh, the Inspector General's horse. Send the horse back as soon as no, no, I keep it. I did. Richard, help His Excellency come out. Oh, Your Excellency. Oh, Your Excellency. Oh, Your Excellency. Oh, oh, Your Excellency. Great star of wisdom. Yakov. Exalted one, do not be angry with your devoted servant. I've hunted for you everywhere. But oh, forgive me, great master. Forgive me. Bestow mercy on your unworthy but servant. But forgive me, you numbskull, or I'll break you in half. Oh, be generous, master. It's all be right, Yakov. I'm the lowly servant of this great lord, the Inspector but... General. Due to my negligence, we were separated on the road. Oh, I, I was just leaving. Oh, yeah. I must speak to you first, master. The Emperor has sent you confidential instructions, a secret message. Please, may but he was just leaving. The Inspector General will decide that for himself. What is the What are you doing? Yeah, you mustn't close the door, Yakov. I'll never be able to get out. Get there, Mama. Uh, Yakov, why did you stop me? I had a chance to get away. Now they may hang me. Quiet, you idiot. Why should they hang the Inspector General? I've got to stay. They lay the whole town at your feet. I don't want the town. I've got everything I want. I just want to get out of here. You've got everything you want. Yes. What have you got? I didn't let anything slip through my hands. You got? Bite and scratch. Steal and take. Doggy dog. See? Spoons. Three spoons. Uh -huh. And these fat thieves are loaded with gold. But, Jakov, you don't understand. We can sell the spoons, buy a new wagon, leave this town. All right. Everything. Go on. Run away. I was right in the first place. You haven't got an honest bone in your body. Honest? Oh, uh, wait a minute, Yakov. I don't understand. Only a few days ago you kicked me out because you said I wasn't a good thief. I, I kicked you out, yes. I tear I'm... my heart into a little bit to drive from evil company, company. This and this is a prank again. For once in your miserable life you have a chance really to do some good. You act not to talk. So what happens? You want to run like a rabbit to save your own shabby skin. Never a thought of the people in the village. Nothing but selfishness. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, I prowl to every corner of this village. Georgie, what misery exists here. The mayor and his officials tax the very life out of this town. And not content with that, they steal. 35,000 crowns they collected from the little children and their poor parents to buy a pipe organ for the church. Then they trump up a cock and bull story that the organ was destroyed, but I know that they sold it in another town. No. Now, by tonight we can make them pay 35,000 crowns for protection. Then I buy back the organ, you present to the town, and we expose these rascals. May I become a wandering gypsy if I'm not telling the truth? But you are a wandering gypsy. That proves them telling the truth. Now, to work, Georgie. The most important thing is that you make them understand that you know how crooked they are. They'll shower you with gold. Hey, 35,000 crowns, Jaco. You think they'll give it to me just like that? They'll give you more. Never fails. It's even easier when you're an inspector general. But I don't know how to be an inspector general. Well, that's very simple. You have to behave like one. But how? I don't... Oh, how? Why? What? Don't bother me with silly technicalities. You are the inspector general. Be big, strong, firm. <coughs> Gentlemen, I have good news for you. The Inspector General has decided to remain indefinitely. He demands an inspection of the financial affairs of Brodny, and he will meet with you at the town hall at 2 o'clock. Big, be strong, be firm, says Yakov. But if it doesn't work, whose neck will they jerk? Whose block will they knock off? Not Yakov. Be an inspector general. What does an inspector general do? Inspect generals? No. An inspector general generally inspects. That is, they expect him to inspect generally if they're expecting an Inspector General. But an exceptionally generous Inspector General who made an exception and had no inspection would cause suspicion, which in my condition I couldn't accept. Thank you. However, if people unsuspecting now accept without detecting an imposter who's not posted as a pedigreed inspector, could this palpable imposter say a gypsy or a costa? Could he possibly get past them by his posture? In two words, unlikely.
So it is not a question of to flee or not to flee, but to be or not to be. And if so, how should I be arrogant? Should I be elegant? Should I be smart? A roaring Russian hussar, or very British empire, or like the cagey Viennese who already eats the cheese while he says no thank you please, be smart. I must examine every side of me. The long, the narrow, the wide of me, the Dr. Jekyll under the hide of me. If I value my anatomy, the skinny and the fat of me, how shall I start to play the part? Should I be arrogant? Up off your knees! Stop licking my boots! Elegant. Sugar. A lump. Lemon. A squeeze. Cream. A dribble. Tea. Never touch it. Oh, smart. If they don't know what you should know, they won't know what you would know. Arrogant. Elegant. Smart. If you say so. And it's not so. So much so. If you talk to them, ya ta ta ta, you only waste your breed. Laugh at them. Ha 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 ha, they're all you far beneath. Talk and you show your ignorance. Laugh and you show your teeth. Ah, ah. Gentlemen, if you will just step aside for one moment, I should be very happy to talk to this unfortunate wretch. Thank you. The course of action you should act on that I've actually planned is a smasher. A lot of thought I put in it. If you casually cover up your mouth with your hand, you will never put your foot in it. Never, 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 never put your foot in it. No, really, gentlemen, please. Sneak a sniff in of snuff. And solve your difficulties with ease. Just stand around and wait for them to sneeze. No, it's And you'll see which way will blow the breeze. Pay no attention to what he says, do it my way. My way. My way. My way. And you show your ignorant, no right with your you don't care about me. That isn't true. Mm. If we didn't care. Would we talk this way? Things are not as bad as they look, gypsy boy. No, sir. They are much worse. And remember. A tear in the eye is worth two in the bush. Yes, sir. Be elegant, be elegant, be smart. Be elegant, be elegant, be smart. With you, I agree, all three of me, you need no longer linger. I'll give him the fist. Give him the fist. Give him the wrist. Give him the wrist. Give him the finger.
only your excellency. for this. Well? Well, uh... Yes? Well! There were no taxes that day, Excellency. Would you put your official <laughs> signature to the books? Uh, what is this? It's the very best we have, Your Excellency. We're not a very rich community. until I've... Uh, uh, you can examine the books more closely at the house, Your Excellency. Yes, an excellency idea. We shall see what we shall see. And all I saw was this medicine show. Uh, the fat gypsy was selling this stuff and his partner had his head on a plate. Yakov, that soldier. Uh, and, uh, 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 Who is that man? That's His Excellency, the Inspector General.
fiat cough. I cannot stay any longer. Love, George Chief. Oh, hi. <clears throat> uh, this is the kitchen, isn't it? Well, uh, you uh, go right ahead. I'm <clears throat> just inspecting. Um, uh, yes, uh, oh. <clears throat> Mm -hmm. Fine, just fine. Uh, now tell me, is there another way out? Out? O U F, out. Oh, you're not leaving, Your Excellency. Oh, I have to. I can't stay another minute. That there's another town I have to inspect now, right now. People are waiting. I, how do I get out? I can't believe it. You can't believe what? You can't believe I have another town to inspect? Oh, of course I do, Your Highness. Oh, please don't be angry with oh, me. I wasn't angry. I. You were so kind last night. I thought you would stay. And it gave me new hope. Well, the whole village is looking to you for help. Yes, well, I thought perhaps on my way back I'd... Oh, Your Excellency, such plundering and misery. It's terrible, but you should see this other town. It's... it's... Well, they need me very badly. Uh, people are waiting, receptions, and... Uh, I see. I... I really mustn't disappoint them. I... <clears throat> well, I... Better be going. I'm I'm sorry you won't be more friendly. Friendly? Why should I be friendly? I don't care if I hang for it, I'm gonna say what I think. You're as bad as the rest of them. Worse, because you have the power to do good and you run away. I'll stay. I can get the organ back. It didn't burn, I know where it is. Oh, well, then you do care about the people. Of course I do. Well, the whole town will be so happy. I want you to be happy, Lisa. Well, I don't count, Your Excellency. I I'm just a kitchen maid, and I'll always be one. But that's no way to look at life. Things can change overnight. After all, I wasn't born an inspector general. It just happened. Come on, smile. very bad. They're very bad. You wouldn't recognize the one of me. Uh, oh, it, 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 it's so uh, hard. I uh, thought only uh, women were vain about their well, poetry. Uh, no. Now I've got to see how bad they make you look. Oh, you know you never even told me your name. Uh, name? Oh, no matter, no matter. I'll soon recognize you, then I'll find out all about you and your beautiful wife and lovely children. Oh, I have no wife. Oh. Uh, none of my family had wives. My father didn't like wives. I mean, my mother didn't like my father's wives. 
Uh, may I have this? Oh, no. This looks rather like you, uh, but uh, older, of course. Is it a relative of yours? Oh, um, yes, it's my father. Your father? Uh, Madam Canabi. Wife of His Excellency, Peter Canabi. Oh. Age 46. Mother of 12 boys. Oh, uh, well, that was a disguise. Oh. Uh, my, my father was a spy in, in the war, and uh, he uh, always used to disguise himself as my mother. Your father? No, no, my mother. Oh. <laughs> I, I was 19 before I could tell him apart. Knobby, is that uh, your family name? Uh, yes, uh, Farful Knobby. Farful? Oh, what an unusual name. Isn't it? <laughs> it sounds like the morning breezes rustling through the leaves and the willows. Yes. Uh, what does it mean? Uh, oh, I, I, it's, uh, some kind of soup, I think it. Oh, has a, uh, <laughs> yes. Uh, where were you born? Uh, well, well uh, I, I let me have the book and I'll, I'll tell you all about it. Yes. <laughs> uh, some, some, some night when we're alone, I'll uh, perhaps tonight. Oh, uh, I want to hear everything, Farfel. You don't know how I yearn to live. What it means to be married to a man who doesn't understand me. He's a peasant, a coarse, uncultured pig of really? a man. Yes, I was forced to marry him. Oh. I'm an attractive woman, am I not? Yes, I'm but... still in the first bloom of my youth, am I not? Yes, but... I'm desirable, am I not? Yes, but... Could any I... man wish for a more lovely, intelligent, responsive woman than I am? No. <laughs> oh, Parcel, you say the most beautiful thing. Oh, well, I really must be going upstairs oh. now. <laughs> you will help me, Farfel, won't you? Promise. Yes, I, I promise. When we get to Paris, I won't be a burden to you. I swear. Forgive me. Oh. May I have a word with Your Excellency? What do you want? I throw myself on your mercy. Please, Your Excellency, for the sake of my family. Oh, what is it? What have you done? The tax records. It wasn't my idea to falsify them. The mayor, my own uncle. And Telecki also has a burden for you. Now, I admit I take bribes, but what kind of bribes? Puppy dogs, that's all. Just little puppy, puppy dogs? dogs? Yes. What kind of puppy oh, dogs? Oh, all kinds. Oh, I like puppy dogs. Oh, you dogs. do? Yes. And you shall have them, Your Excellency. Oh, forgive me. Yes, all 60 of them. And here, here's uh, just a little gift to show you how much I... Uh, your Excellency. Who is it? It is I, Telecki, superintendent of the school here. Oh, you mustn't find me here. Oh, well, he's Thank just a friends. member of the council. It really doesn't matter. Come in. Your Excellency, if I may have a moment of your time, I have something that may interest you. Uh, uh, you see, I have the best interest of the state of honor. I would never tell you this. You understand? Yes, well, uh, uh, come, come to the point, Aki. Uh, Telecki. Uh, to, to like it, yes. Sometimes a man must decide between duty and friends, and I feel it is my duty to advise you of the vice and corruption in the city of Brodney. This isn't much, but if you will just accept it as a loan, if you like, it will help. Oh. Uh, see you a moment, Your Excellency. It is Gizzy, the postmaster. Gizzy, he hates me. If he should find me here. <laughs> Come in. Uh, come in. I'm a poor man, Your Excellency. Please accept all this. That's all I have. The temptation was too strong. The others stole more than I did. I... They did? Who is that? Oh, come with me. Oh, they got to hide in the closet here. Oh. Inspector General. Yes? Your Excellency, I want to speak to you. In fact, I must speak to you. The, oh, um, my uniform looks looks very nice on you. Uh, thank you. Yeah. Well, uh, I'm having one made in black with uh -huh. silver across here. What is it, Kovac? Oh, I guess I might as well make a clean breast of it. Won't you uh, sit down? Yes, thank you. You see, it wasn't for me. It was for my wife. My wife is not a contented woman. She wants clothing and money and jewels. Uh -huh. Oh, I love my family, but I'd give my six kids to get rid of my wife. <laughs> so... There's only a thousand crowns in here. Uh, a thousand crowns? Yeah. If you'll just give me a chance to sell the jewels, won't you uh, sit down? Oh, oh, oh. 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 Come in. Oh, 
Oh, I didn't know you were resting, Your Excellency. Oh, oh I always rest. The doctor says it's good for my liver. Well, maybe I'd better come back. No, it's all right. Uh, what is it you want? Well, I just wanted to make a confession. I'll take it. Well, well, come, come. I'm as guilty as the rest of them, but I... Oh, I mustn't be found here. Where do I hide? On the bed. You're not in the bed. Well, in the chest. Oh, no. Well, under the bed. Yeah, check the bed. On, on top of the bed. On top of the bed. Oh, on the bed. Oh! Uh, can I come in? Come from the uh, emperor. What? Uh, uh, go, go downstairs and see if my luggage has arrived. What's the matter with uh, you? What, what's, what's the weather outside like? Look, is this one living in there's a lot of people hiding in there. Hiding. Oh, the council members, they came with bribes. They bribes? Bribes. Money? Money. They want money. Yes. Where is it? It's a... Why? Uh, come in. Your Excellency, may I speak to you for a moment? Yes, of course. Privately. Mm. Oh, no! Those traitors. They all brought the money. You're wrong. Gentlemen, I shall ask you to leave the room. Oh, Mayor, and you too, Mr. Chief of Police. Yes? His Highness cannot tolerate this honesty. No? Then why did he accept the bribes? A few measly crowns. His Excellency has many private charities. I can assure you not a penny of that money will ever find its way into the pockets of the Inspector General. Well, uh, what do you want us to do? It's possible, a uh, bare possibility, mind you, that a uh, few substantial contributions from you might... Uh, How much? Shall we say 100,000 crowns? 100,000 crowns? I'll be a pauper! Very well, keep your money. You can jingle it in your pockets. All the way up the steps to the gallows. He wouldn't do anything like that. He would, and he has. But he might be inclined to show leniency if he can realize the charitable dream of his life. A much needed addition to the cathedral he built in Vienna. A new church organ. A fireproof organ. Fireproof. He knows. He knows. <laughs> None of us will be involved. Who do it? Biddle, the woodchopper. Biddle, the woodchopper. He'll do as I tell him. He has to. I can get him tonight. During the reception, when all is confusion in the north, he'll... But if something goes wrong... Nothing will go wrong. Are you sure? Yes. After midnight, as soon as everyone's had plenty to drink, one of us will get him into the barn where Biddle, the woodchopper, is waiting. He will dispose of the body. Good. You think I wanted to steal it? I want to count it. Well, I've already counted. You can't count. Well, it's very heavy. There must be enough money here to buy back the organ. All and right. I give it to me. I'll go get the organ. Oh, no, not without me. Look, you can't leave here. They, they need you for the reception. Well, then we'll go after the reception. Look, Yakov, there's an old Hungarian proverb. Trust everybody, but keep the organ money in sight. Uh, come in. I suppose. Well, a love letter for you. Let me see that. No, Yakov. Oh, please. let me no, see that. No, it's private, Yakov. Oh, never mind. <laughs> no, no, let me see that. Yakov, you might tear it. Oh, 
Georgie, you're such a lucky guy. What is it? Have a beautiful girl like that fall in love with you. Oh, read it to me, Yako, please. My dearest darling Inspector General, from the moment I first saw you, I knew you were the one. At night, I dream of your manly figure, and your handsome, gentle features drive me mad with passionate love. The sound of your voice thrills me beyond words, and if I cannot have you for my very own, I must surely die. Is there any more? Does she say anything else? Yes, yes. P.S. Please meet me in the barn at midnight. Please meet me in the barn at midnight. <laughs> Yakov, what does P.S. mean? Um, P.S. Mm -hmm. Please, sweetheart. Please, sweetheart. I have the money. Does he send in his report? Oh. Tell him I'll deliver it to him tonight. Good. And we can't settle the matter in here. Where would you suggest? Outside, in the barn. At midnight? At midnight. He'll be there. Get ready. I'll see you later, Papa. I got your note. You're wonderful. At the barn. The barn. Steve. Comrade, lifelong friend of His Excellency, the Inspector General. We've been friends for many, many years. Yes, sir. <coughs> Announce me at once, young lady. Mm -hmm. Yes, Colonel. Mm -hmm. Oh, young man. Uh, probably the eyes, are not Colonel. Yes, yes. I was snow blinded in the Alps in the Italian campaign with His Majesty the Emperor. The Emperor. Long life to His Imperial Majesty the Emperor. Oh. Oh, I'm so You sorry. idiot. Where are... Oh, there you are. You blithering idiot. Now, where are my glasses? Oh, they fell down on the floor. I'm storm blind without my glasses. I will be look careful for them. Now, be careful. They're on the floor somewhere. somewhere. Don't step on them. No, I shan't. Oh, 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 I am so... Oh, look. Oh, you stupid fool. Oh, now, look. Now, look. I'll have to go and get another pair. No, no, no. You just stay right here. Hold on, Jerry. I shall make the announcement. Ladies and gentlemen, I have the honor to announce the unexpected arrival of Colonel Franz Gastine of the Emperor's Royal Guards. Comrade in arms and lifelong friend of His Excellency the Inspector General. Well. The Colonel is quite near, sir. I didn't have the misfortune to break his glasses. Imagine, he broke his glasses. Lay oh, no, the... Colonel. Lay You're kissing the wrong man. Hmm? This is the Inspector General. It, it, oh, of course. How stupid of me. Yes, the Inspector General is really a much shorter man. <clears throat> Leopold, this is indeed a joy, a joy. Oh, I noticed that you've, uh, you've shaved your mustache. Uh, my, my, oh, uh, yeah, it used to tickle, uh, not me, that is. It's I... all right, it's all right. It makes you look much younger. And your voice, it seems to sound much more youthful. But not always, I've... My friends, this is the man who single-handed routed an entire regiment of Italians at the Battle of Levin Gretto. And then he pushed their own cannon into position and fired at the retreating enemy. Do you remember that, my boy? Nothing. And Austerlitz. I didn't do much. Oh, he didn't do much. He just dove into a raging river and rescued four wounded soldiers. And then on the way, he cut down ten Spaniards with his, with his saber. <laughs> the morale was very low. But with this magnificent courage, he plunged into the fray and he led 
inspired his men with a song, the victory song of the 94th Regiment. Onward, onward, never looking back. On... How does it go, Leopold? He certainly doesn't like to be reminded of that huh? tragic day, but he might be persuaded to sing something lighter, more gay. In a little while, I can't... Oh, splendid, splendid, and I can get my glasses from the inn. Oh, no, sir, no, sir. Why don't you sing something now and honor the colonel? Sing, you imbecile, before he gets his glasses. Uh, could I borrow your drink for the song, please? <clears throat> and now? And now, I, for my friend and comrade in arms, I'd, I'd like to do a gypsy... Mm, no gypsy drinking song. My wine. He took my wine. There's plenty now. No, but one swallow and he said, it's me all over. What are you trembling for? The wine. It's deadly poison. I poison. mixed it. You did. My verb is how thoughtful of you. I, for years I've misjudged you. Poison for you. Oh, no, no, no. It was for me. For you? Yes, I couldn't stand it any longer. I even wrote a confession. You what? A confession. Through the whispering woods and a wild Romany pony with a yak, 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 and a yak, said Rock, and a yak, said Rock, said Roni, rides the gypsy, the gypsy, the gypsy, the gypsy. The world thinks him gypsy and careless and free, but oh, the poor gypsy. His lot is not what it ought to be for. Night and day and day and night, there's a man there sick of obeying with a whip in his hand. Over oh, gypsy he stands, and this is what he is saying. Hum. Um, let gypsy sing, gypsy dance, gypsy laugh, gypsy cry, gypsy live, gypsy die, gypsy drink. Gypsy, drink to goodbyes and drink to hellos, drink to the open, drink to the close. Drink to me only with thine eyes, and I will drink with my nose. And so we drink. But first we sing. How can you sing gypsy song without gypsy chorus? So ladies and gentlemen, I will ask you for a little favor. You help me, we'll have a little chorus. It'll sound beautiful, wonderful. I will give you a little beat. You make for me zoom, all right? Please, everybody. Zoom. It's very nice, but we get a little sharper, you know, more in the mask, the Ephraim. Hey, hey, here I zoom. All right, please, all right? Zoom. Very nice, now short, huh? Zoom. zoom. I like it, I like it. Once more, please, now. Zoom. Very pretty. This group here, I will make for you stock stock. Please, everybody understand? Stock stock, all right? Stock stock. Very nice, all right? Stock stock. Not I didn't make it yet! Pardon me, ladies and gentlemen. Please, small stock stock. Stock stock. stock. Very nice, please. Stock stock. stock. That's so pretty. Low. Stock stock. I'll be with you in two minutes. Now, this little grub here, I'd like you to make a little favor on me. All the little tiny pussycats, those sweet, gentle little faces. Make for me, ha, 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 this way, all right? Please, everybody. Ha, 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 ha. <laughs> wonderful. Oh, now, quick, let's pass. We have set. Everybody, listen once again, please. <laughs> Very pretty. I love you to pieces. Please. How's a tremor to know? Zoom. Stock, 
Do you want something to drink, maybe? Oh, no, thank you, Excellency. And so we drink. But first we play. me, I slip my bow. My fingers need a raisin. Enjoying the evening. Yes, I uh, very much. I uh, really have to. Uh... 
What's the matter with you? You're crazy? You know, you could have killed me with that. Why do you have to work so late at night anyway? Whatever you have to chop can wait till morning, can it? Now, now, now go on to bed. Go on, I've got to meet somebody here. Go, go on to bed. Aren't you the Inspector General? Yeah. That doesn't mean I can't meet anybody here, does it? No. Oh. You don't believe it, do you? Don't go near the barn. Lisa. They're going to kill you. Yeah, and only two hours ago, she... Would you reread that again, please? Says don't go near the barn. They are going, going to, to kill you. you. Uh, Yakov. Yakov, my best friend. <laughs> Where's your master? My master? <laughs> I'll get rid of the evidence, the money. The money. I don't think I want any supper. Oh, no. Tarantino, His Excellency, the Inspector General. Excellency, he took bribes. He drank all my 
my wine. He, he yelled out the windows. He even made love to my wife. How, how could I doubt that he was an inspector general? I, I mean, I, he gave us no chance to think of deception, Your Majesty. I, I mean, Your Excellency. Isn't that right, Gizek? I'm Isaac. He's Gizek. You can always tell by the strawberry mark on my leg. Boy, it's as big as your... I'm Gizek. He's Isaac. Silence! Excuse me, Your Excellency. First of all, Mayor, I want that tramp. Yes. Send out every man available. Yes, Your Excellency. Meanwhile, I will write out an order for his execution. Yes, yes Your Excellency. He will hang today, Your Excellency. I promise you that. And test the gallows. I am Isaac. <laughs> I never thought of Silence! That. We, we gave the money we had, and, and now it's back. I'll, I'll, I'll see you in a minute. Here, take the organ to the church. I'll be back in a minute. Come on, man. I may need you. I'm glad I found all you gentlemen together. This town is going to be cleaned up from so top to bottom. this is the Inspector General? Yes. Mr. Mayor, I'd like you all to know that the corruption in this city is at an end. I want a complete and honest report from you, and a complete report of your tax records. I want a report from you in the morning. Uh, who is this man? Tell him to get out. This is official business. I Mr. Mayor! In the name of the Emperor, I call upon you to produce all the tax records and books of this village if immediately. Your Excellency will permit me to interrupt. Let me show you this communication which has just arrived. Girl. And out of business. I want you filthy vagabond. This is the Inspector General. How do you do? We must have a long talk together sometime. I want to look at all these books. me, you misbegotten peasant. Tie him up! The Emperor will tear this stinking village down over your ears, you thieving lard bucket. Heads will roll here like marbles, yours first. And then this flea-ridden sack of nothing you call an Inspector oh, General. He's insane! This is Take him Inspector away! General, Take him away! make me laugh! The great Emperor wouldn't appoint a thing like this to a post of such importance. This is your Inspector General. Here, his carriage, his manner, his bearing. Gentlemen, take your choice. I don't know what to think. You don't have to think. If this man is an Inspector General, then where are his credentials? Oh, well, where's yours? Show them, Your Excellency. They have a right to see. Come on, show them. Uh, show your credentials. Show them. Oh, uh, the Produce them. Uh, here they are. See? Ah, oh, well, forgive me. All right, General. Your Excellency. I would like to take this opportunity to tender my resignation. If I'm so sorry, Your Excellency. It was an honest mistake. The imposter will hang. This is preposterous. Ah. Your Excellency will be so good as to write out the death warrant. Uh, 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 just one uh, minute, please. please. Sir. Arrest that man. I'm warning you. I'm warning all of you. This will be reported to the Emperor. Lock him up. This is an outrage. I can't do it. Why not? Oh, one thing I can't write. Oh, <laughs> I can't read either. And even if I could write, I couldn't sign this death warrant. I'm, uh, I'm not the Inspector General. Oh, he's just soft on it. Here, I'll you sign it. Do it oh, no, you can. It's all over. I couldn't sign this. That man is completely innocent. I hanged. I only did it. So I could get the money to buy the organ back. I... Lock them up again. Put them in chains. Send them to the gallows. Oh, Your Excellency, I'm so sorry. Oh, nothing like this has ever happened around me before. But I assure you, they'll go to the gallows, Your Excellency. The Excuse gallows me. will wait its turn, but not now. But, but Your Excellency, the... this man will not hang. Huh? First honest man I've met since I left Budapest. Whatever you say, Your Excellency, but... 
my, my chain of office, Your Excellency. Uh, we'll put something else around your neck. Oh, thank you, Your Excellency. With band music? Uh, what'd you say? With band music? With band music. <laughs> I, I, I couldn't take this, Your Excellency. I, I can't even read or write. I, I have no education. Uh, what you have is much better. Please, Your Excellency. Uh, my credentials, my medal, well, my fashion. That, that I... Citizens of Rodney, I have the honor to present to you your new mayor. Rodney, to the sky. Rodney, 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 Rodney, to the sky.